bevor die Session beginnt. Ach so, Tobi, darf ich schon? Ja, danke. Ähm, ich werde die Session auf Englisch halten. Es hat mehrere Gründe. Zum einen äh, sind hier ein paar Anwesende, die auch nur Englisch sprechen oder Englisch verstehen. Und das andere ist, äh, die Custom Fields sind momentan noch nicht so gut dokumentiert. Und wir können davon profitieren, wenn das jetzt auf YouTube gestellt wird, dass noch mehr Leute erfahren, wie sie damit umgehen. Und deswegen werde ich die Session auf Englisch halten. Wenn ihr irgendwas gar nicht versteht oder irgendwas, ich bin gerne bereit, die Session komplett nochmal neu auf Deutsch zu wiederholen, in einem Vier-Augen-Gespräch oder irgendwo. Ich, man kann mich in Hopfen bezahlen und so. Also. Ja, okay. Um, I just explained why I will hold the session in English. Um, it's because custom fields are not documented that well uh, yet, and I want to have more people to have profit from this presentation and when they see it at YouTube. So we will have some fun with custom fields. Actually, it is a workshop, and I expected you to come with the computer. Who will code with me, who not? <laughs> will someone code, or should I just run through it and show it? Who? Is someone coding with me or not? <laughs> you? Okay, good. Okay. Um, let me introduce myself to you. I'm Elisa. And this is my Twitter handle, and everything else you can ask me later. And who are you? Who is developer? Raise your hands. Okay, I'm not a developer. And if I have mistakes in my code, um, just raise your hand or say stop, you should do it like that. It's okay, I will not feel offended. <laughs> I learned this with some help of Joomla friends and by exploring. <laughs> What are custom fields? Uh, does any one of you use custom fields already? Starting from Monday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, did any of you all already write a custom field plugin? No, okay. That's what we will do today. Custom fields are input fields and you can display them in your view. They are available for users, for content, for contact and um, for third party components that use custom fields. And you can, um, sorry, <laughs> you can create um, overrides for custom fields, you can create plugin overrides, or you can create your own custom field plugin. For the first example, when you have a custom field, for example, the color field, which comes with the core, you can write something like this in your override and then define the background color from, from the body or something with the core custom field. So you can do, with, with the fields, you can achieve already different things when you use it in the override. You can also override the plugin with media overrides. If you override the CSS of the calendar field, you can define how the colors are in the calendar. And you can create your own custom field plugin, and that can be anything. It can be a gallery, or a slider, or autocomplete, whatever. You need a structure for it, and Brian Thiemann prepared a structure, a boilerplate. You can download it at GitHub from his repository. Um, you can, I, I will share the slides later on on Twitter, so you don't have to take pictures or anything. And you can download this right now. <laughs> A 
I just wait until you are ready. Uh, you're the only one, right? Or does someone else code too? Do you mind if we do that later together? So I can just run through it, yeah? Okay. So this is the structure of the custom field. You have an XML file that's um, um, the installation file with the plugin config options. You have the params folder. There's also an XML file inside. There you can define the config options for the field itself. Then you have the fields folder. Here you can define the field. Then you have the, the main file, the blank.php file. There you can, um, it, it's responsible that the field is shown. And there's a template folder, which is responsible for the output then. And optionally, you can add a media folder with JavaScript or style sheets. And in the session, I will show you how to create a travel field. It's in my GitHub. You can download it here. As said, I will share it later on Twitter. And you can rename the blank uh, structure into travel. And now I tell you how to set up the main XML file. So uh, if any one of you already prepared a module or component, you know that you have this XML file which is responsible for the installation and you put in the name of the plugin, you put in your name and the license and the version, you list the files that are in the plugin, you list the language files and you um, display the, con uh, the configuration for the plugin, which is empty here, it's okay. So um, next we have to set up the params XML file. It's the travel XML file in the params folder. And you can add here parameters that are displayed uh, for the field itself. I will show it later in the demo. And for now we leave this file empty too. We can add options later. And we create a JFORM field. This is just a simple text input field and uh, we add this uh, address autocomplete with a script from Algolia. And it's done like that. So we have the, wait, I, I have to change something, one second, because I don't see the slides here. In the beginning, you have the obligatory defined jxec or die to see if the file is executed inside of Joomla. Then you have the JFORM helper for the text field, and you define a class for the um, JFORM field travel. That's the name of our field, and it extends the JFORM field text. Then you have the protected type travel. And you define here the field and the get input. We add a script from Angolia. I have the script from this page. Just copy paste. 
and a define a placeholder and the field itself. Important is that the field has um, the name and the ID so that it works in Joomla. And for displaying the field itself, it's enough to just add the empty class in the, in the travel PHP file. And for displaying the output, you have the travel PHP file in the template folder. <coughs> and it's a simple echo address from the field value. And that's basically all to have this autocomplete field and output it in the content. I have here the custom field and I added some options to have not only the address and the output and the template but also map, weather, a Flickr gallery. If I remove those options, the options disappear. We had just address. And when I click on Munich, it's city, Munich, Germany. So we had the input with the autocomplete, and in the output it shows the city. But we can do way more when we know a city. We can set up a map, for example. And now here's a map of Munich. We can see how the weather is like in Munich. And here's a weather forecast for Munich. And I have here in the template option and uh, the custom field options, for example, also number of days, how many days should be displayed. And here are the days. Next, uh, I can also have a Flickr gallery. I reload this article. And here are some Flickr images from Munich. Okay, you don't recognize Munich that well here. <laughs> but... I close this, I show you the articles itself. I have, for example, Nuremberg, it's my hometown. This is the intro text and this is the field. And when I click on the slow internet connection, <laughs> I show the code in a moment. Right. Yeah. So number. Yeah, and here are some pictures from number. It's sorted by the most interesting pictures on Flickr. So what did I do in the code? Instead of the basic example, like I showed you just now with the address. Wait. I don't need that. So 
So as said, if something is wrong, could be, I'm not a developer. <laughs> um, inside of the main template f file, I looked for the config options, which layouts have to be displayed, and then I included the template file. For example, the address, which just returns the address from the address autocomplete field, and in the Flickr gallery, I have the key and the plugin params and the image number from the field params. And then I have the URL from the Flickr API and have a curl call. And here I have Amazon Regallery. So this code is on GitHub, you can have a look later at it. For the map, I um, got the longitude and latitude from Nominatum or another provider. And then I display the map with leaflet and OpenStreetMap. And for the weather, I used the Epixu API to display the weather data. And in the beginning, we started with the travel XML file. And I exp uh, in the first version, this was empty. But here I have the Flickr API and the Epixia API. You can see it here. Plugins. Here are the parameters for the plugin itself. We have the second XML file in params, where I have the number of images to show, or how many days should be shown in the weather, and so on. And these are displayed in the field itself, like shown here. So I can define the days and everything. Uh, I seems I cannot zoom in here in the sidebar. I have also the media folder and a CSS folder with the style sheet for the masonry gallery and a JS folder for the scripts for the light box, which is also here in the Flickr gallery. Here's a light box included. But this field is just experimental. It's, I don't think that it's usable for anyone, but you can have a look at it on GitHub and have an idea how to, how to build your own field. Yeah, but basically I showed in the demo. <laughs> Do you have any questions? I hope this will be a lot of questions because, <laughs> yeah. I do have a couple. So how can I say where the field will be shown? So is there a, a hook that I can say before content, after content, in the middle of content? Yes, that's um, here. It's a good question, yeah. That are general parameters for custom fields. 
that are available for all custom fields. Here in options, you have the after this title, before display, after display, or do not display it. Okay. And if I don't display it, then I have to handle it myself in the template override? Right? Yes. Okay. You can, um, if you choose one of these, you can hook in a plugin event if it's available in your override. If not, you can either use it in your override or you can include it in the article. i show you how here. Oh, so I can place it myself wherever I want? Yeah. So I have here the content and I include a field city. Now let's see what happens now. I'm not sure. It's a good that I asked that question. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's it just loaded the same. Yeah. yeah? Okay, but but, but <coughs> say okay, I don't show it and then I can insert it only in the, in the fields I want. Like only in the articles I want. Yeah. Okay. Can I load a field only in the, in the block view, for instance, and not show it in the in the, the article itself? Mm, only with the template override. Oh, uh, I'm not sure about that. Let's figure it out later. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm not sure. Um, you can assign custom fields to specific categories. You know that. Yeah, I, I know that, but yeah. I, I have I have a particular like uh, uh, case in mind where I would need to show the field essentially also in the blog view, yeah. not only in the article. So okay. But that could be after after the headline. Maybe. Yeah. So I have to test that myself. Maybe. Yeah. We can discuss it tomorrow. Did you? No. Someone want to say something about yeah? yeah? Yeah, uh, I don't want like I want to automatically show it with every every article where it's uh, where it's um, where something is in the field. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe in the override then. Probably, Probably the best solution. But it's it's loaded in the in the category view and not only on the article level. That was that's that's yeah. a tricky question. The, right? Yeah, that's that's not possible to set it up like like it is now. Okay. No. Um, but there's a trick with the with the module code, with the plugin code, you can add the template after a comma. You can write weather. Save that. And now it just shows the weather. So I have this, this travel field with different templates and I can define after the comma which template has to be shown. But that's not... Does anyone know how to zoom in the folder structure on PHP Storm? Okay. Mm? No? Doesn't work. No, sorry. Okay. Um, important for this method, field, comma, weather, is that it's not this template here in the sub templates folder, it's the field in the layouts folder. Okay. Any more questions? Sorry? Um, and this multi select not, but uh, you can create our own multi select field and that can be reordered then. Are you included like that weather <coughs> um, flicker save?
and then you are completely free in which order it is. Either manually or you build your own um, plugin field. I have another So I have here a, a custom field, a custom custom field. <laughs> here, here's a icon search when I, uh, I can make this bigger. <laughs> when I search for Facebook, it shows me the Facebook icons and when I click on it, it shows the class. This is also on GitHub, yeah. <laughs> And this is made like that. Mm, plugins, fields, I can link. So I have here the params for the icon link. And at the top, I define a field path. And in this file I defined, I create my own field. I just have to add here the field path. Any any questions you want? <laughs> okay, so if I have a field, can I access in the plugin, for instance, which article ID I am? So if the field is loaded, is the field aware in which article it is? In? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> is Alan here? Yes. Ah, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the question was, can the article ID be retrieved by the plugin? Exactly. Answer is no, not yet. Um, if you want the feature, just uh, post a feature request on GitHub. Okay. Yeah, Mark. Okay, I have uh, an example. Like, suppose you have uh, articles which are books. Yeah. Books with cover, different fields, author. And for author, you would like to have a link to another article, there would be a category authors. Uh, so how to create that custom field, which would be a link to an existing article? Mm, ah, you mean, th th there's a SQL field. Yeah. And you can set up the SQL field to retrieve a list of all the yeah. articles. So and far I've gone. Okay, and then on your override, you create the link. Yeah. And the link is created in a special way in Joomla. I don't know it by heart. Can anyone say it, how it's built? J route. J route. Yeah. Even if you don't use J route, if you, if you have like normal customer rights, like OM rewrite, you, you know you can set up the SQL that you get the alias, and then you have a session. Like you could build, uh, rebuild it um, without using JRoad, but JRoad would be the, the better yeah. way. Yeah. So yeah. either you JRoad would be aware where that article is, even if you even if you replace it somewhere or even if you if you change it in some context. 
but if you make it for, for yourself, you could actually make your own URL and then just on the right. I think it would be a nice uh, plugin as, as ready to use, not as SQL, which not everybody can, uh, yeah. can write. <laughs> Because it's quite typical that you, you have a list of books, a list of author, and a list, and you have all the films, and you want the uh, the, the movie maker, and etc. And you make links between articles. So, uh, so download Plank, <laughs> um, the Plank template, the boilerplate for the field. I think it's a quite easy thing. Uh, are you tomorrow here too? Yeah. Let's do it tomorrow together. Uh, let's meet after the session here and sit, pick a time where we can sit together and do it live. Everybody's welcome. Who wants to join? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, cool. Then we have the next Maybe custom field. Well. I'm, I'm not sure if I have the time. If I have time. Yeah, let's set up a time later. You, you, can, you have always these three possibilities, creating an override in your template, Plugin override or create your own plugin. Any more questions? <laughs> so can you can you tell me how because I saw the SQL field, I assume I have to select yeah, I don't know, like ID and name. Like do I have only two values? You have text and a value. You have to, and yeah. So essentially, like a two-dimensional array. Yeah. Okay. Why are no custom fields and modules? <laughs> okay. The question was uh, why there are no not custom fields and modules. Um, yeah, it's a feature request I made because I would like to have them in modules for several reasons. Um, the one reason is that you can display the weather stuff in the module too, um, but you could also use the custom fields for extending your parameters of the module and use it for your overrides. Uh, yeah, if but you already can do that in the module. Custom fields? No, not custom fields, but like because the module is your code base. Yeah. You can yeah. essentially insert everything what you want, what you just showed there in the module itself. Yeah, but I cannot use my existing custom field plugin. No, there. you have to, to create a, a module for, yeah. for that. Yes. Yes. yes totally. So maybe you just need one model that displays the custom field. That would be enough. Yeah, but if you want to use it to extend your parameters on the module. If you are a module developer, you will put your custom fields like already in the code. Yeah, but you can do it very easy, like uh, adding module ID to every module, and then you have an ID that will be added to I, your output. So I output. don't see the use case that I need every module a field that can call for the weather. Yeah, if you don't have a use case, okay, but if you uh, have a template and you have, for example, a button with the anchor link, yes. you, have, you, you can write a plugin uh, for adding a module ID yes. to the module, but you can also just say add custom field, module ID, and you have it available instantly. Meanwhile, we can use article anywhere, for example. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if I have another example. Uh, I have a really horrible example. That's the best. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's, let's see if it works. I did not test it before. Uh, if it worked, no, it, it's, let's see. Oh, wait, I 
show you meanwhile a feature in Joomla. Some still don't know that, that you can create an article from the menu. Let's take this one. No. Yeah. Isn't that horrible? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, we had a Joomla user group meeting and I explained there also how to build our own custom field plugin. And I showed some examples from Bootsnap and that's what we choose to, as an example. It's also on GitHub if you need it. <laughs> Yeah, and then there's an invisible recapture field, but I would not recommend you to download this yet at GitHub. I will have to do some refactoring. <laughs> but you can add a custom field to a form, so you can add the recapture in a custom field plugin to if you want. Okay. Any more questions? <laughs> So, um, thank you for your attention. <laughs>